Glen Helen Raceway in San Bernardino, California, the host site of the opening round of the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. Here are the highlights from the 250 class. Moto One, a pair of Hondas, Trey Kennard, and the young rookie Justin Barsha out front early. Barsha takes the lead from his Geico Power Sports teammate and begins to pull away. Kennard would have to deal with pressure from Christoph Porcel and Ryan Dungey. Those three would go back and forth. They would eventually catch Barsha. No one able to get around the young rookie until finally Porcel bulldogs his way into the number one spot. Porcel will go on to win the moto. Dungey and Kennard round out the top three. The early leader, Barsha, back to ninth at the end of his first pro moto. Still a pretty good ride for the young kid. Moto number two of the 250s, a pair of KTMs, Tommy Searle and Martin Davalos out front early, but soon Justin Barsha would get around them and lead laps again. This time he would lead all the way to the 30 minute mark, and then the pressure came from Ryan Dungey. Dungey would have to work his way past Searle and Tyler Rattray to get into that number two spot. Eventually he would also get around Barsha and take the lead. And that would be good enough to give him the overall win of the day also because the first Moto winner, Christophe Porcel, unable to find the magic that he had in Moto 1, he finishes outside of the top five. Rattray holds on for second and a solid day for the rookie, Justin Barsha. He takes third in his second pro moto. On to the big boys, the 450 class. No surprise here, Michael Lessie is going to grab the first whole shot of the season in that class, fighting off KTM veteran Mike Brown. Alessi would lead Josh Grant early, but then Alessi got stuck in a rut and would drop from first to third, putting Grant into the lead. Rookie Ryan Villapoto was putting pressure on Grant for a while. Grant pulled back away, then later in the race, Villapoto was able to catch him. Grant's rear brakes went out. Villapoto was able to make the pass, take the lead, and win his very first race on the big bikes. Meanwhile, Supercross star Chad Reed, coming through the pack, was able to fight his way up to a fourth-place finish behind Alessi, who recovered for third, and Josh Grant, who took second. Second 450 moto, Mike Alessi again with a whole shot here at Glen Helen, but he looked a whole lot stronger in Moto 2 than he did in Moto 1. He didn't get stuck. He pulled a big lead early on from Grant, while Villapoto tried to work his way up through traffic. Partway through the race, Villapoto hooked up with Chad Reed, and those guys caught Grant, put on a phenomenal battle for the number two position. Villapoto had a tough time with Reed, but eventually moved into third, then got around Grant for second. But by then, Alessi had a 15 second lead, and it looked like it was over. Villapoto didn't get the memo. He eventually ran Alessi down. They battled hard, but with two laps to go, the lead was Villapoto's once again, and he would go 1 1 in his debut in the premier division of AMA Pro Motocross with Alessi holding on for second and Reed besting Grant for third in the moto, but Grant taking third overall on the day. For more information, check out alliesports.com or check out speedtv.com for a television coverage of this tour. And our next race comes up May 30th at Hangtown. That's next weekend. We'll see you there.